ladies and gentlemen, welcome along with the 84 Miss World Contestant to Spain's Costa del Sol. Gentlemen, the Ken Ward dancers together with the Miss World contestants. At 
And now from the town hall in Malaga, the Bispo National Costume Parade. Miss American Virgin Islands is Kathy Mae Sitaran, and she's a student from St. Croix. Miss Argentina. This is Gabriela Madeira. She's a student and she comes from Buenos Aires. Miss Australia is Catherine Bushell and she's a fashion model from Sydney. Miss Austria. This is Alexandra Verbanschitz. She's a student and she comes from Graz. And Miss Bahamas is Natasha Roll and she's a clerk from Nassau. Miss Barbados. Farida Kola is a secretary and she comes from Bridgetown. Miss Belgium. Daisy van Kauenberg and she's a student from Lyon. Miss Belize. This is Paul Young. She's a draftswoman and she's from Belize City. And Miss Bermuda. It's Sophia Canonier and she's a dancer from Warwick East. Miss Bolivia. Claudia Naza is a teacher and she comes from Santa Cruz. This British Virgin Islands is Nelda Farrington and she's a research assistant from Tortola. And Miss Bulgaria. This is Sonia Vasileva. She's a singer and she comes from Barna. Miss Canada is Morgan Fox and she's a receptionist from Richmond. Miss Cayman Islands. Melissa McTaggart is self-employed. She comes from Grand Cayman. Miss Chile. Miss Maria Aldunate, and she's a dress designer from Santiago. Miss China, Taiwan. This is Yi Ming Wu. She's a student, and she comes from Taipei. Miss Colombia. Is Yasmin Oliveros, and she's a student from Bahia Solano. Miss Cook Islands. This is Annie Wigmore. She's a clerk and she comes from Tiricabeca. Miss Costa Rica. Is Virginia Steinberg and she's a student from San Jose. Miss Curacao. Anushka Kova is a student and she lives in Willemstown. And Miss Cyprus. Is Aphrodite Theophanus and she's a sales assistant from Kapos. Miss Denmark. Suzanne Johansson is a student and she comes from Copenhagen. Miss Dominican Republic. Maria Martinez, a student, and she's from Santa Domingo. Miss Ecuador. And Cristina Lopez is a student. She comes from Guayaquil. Miss Egypt. Dina El Nagar is a student and she is from Gizeh. Miss El Salvador. Carla Hasborn is a student and she comes from San Salvador. Miss Finland. Is Nina Anderson and she's a fashion model from Lahti. And Miss France. Claudia Fritolini is a grand stewardess. She comes from Ilza. Miss Germany is Katja Munch, and she's a student from Frankfurt. Miss Ghana, Giyu Amoa is a student, she comes from the Volta region. Miss Gibraltar is Tatiana de Soisa, a marketing consultant, and she's from Gibraltar. And Miss Grace, Ariadne Malona is a student, she comes from Crete. Miss Guam is Rita May Pangelina, and she's a consumer sales representative from Windward Mills. Miss Guatemala. This is Mariluz Aguila. She's a student, and she comes from Guatemala City. Miss Guyana. Christina Jardine, and she's a student who comes from Georgetown. Miss Holland. Angela Vizier is a model, and she lives near Rotterdam. 
Miss Honduras is Alina Diaz, a student from Choluteca. Miss Hong Kong. Michelle Reese works in television and she comes from Kowloon. Miss Iceland is Linda Pietustotir, a hotel receptionist, and she's from Bofna Fjordu. And Miss India, Anuradna Koto, she's an interior designer and a fashion model, she comes from Bombay. Miss Ireland is Colette Jackson, she's a fashion model from Kulok. Miss Isle of Man, Victoria O'D is a part-time model and she lives in Douglas. Miss Israel. Janet Cohen. She's a student and she comes from Tel Aviv. Miss Italy. Julia Gemmo is a student and she lives in Udine. And Miss Jamaica. Is Andrea Haynes, a student who comes from Kingston. Miss Japan. This is Kazumi Sakubo. She's a student and she comes from Kobe. Miss Kenya is Diana Naylor and she's a tourist officer who comes from Mombasa. Miss Republic of Korea, Yonhee Choi is a sports commentator and she lives in Seoul. And Miss Lebanon is Silvana Samaha, a student from Beirut. Miss Liberia. This is Ollie White. She's a student and she comes from Nimba. Miss Luxembourg is Chantal Schanbacher and she's in the family hotel business in Altfield. Miss Macau. Helena Lowe Branco is a secretary and she comes from the city of Macau. Miss Malaysia is Sue Choi Kun Wong and she's in sales in Penang. Miss Malta. Josette Camilleri is a computer machine operator and she lives in Maza. Miss Mauritius is Veronique Ash, a student who hails from Bobasan. Miss Mexico. Cecilia Cervera is a student and she lives in Mexico City. Miss New Zealand is Lisa Corban. She's a dentist assistant and comes from Waikato. Miss Nigeria. This is Omasan Bua. She's a student and she comes from Wari. Miss Norway. It's Rita Polson and she's a saleswoman from Mirvol near Oslo. And Miss Papua New Guinea. Erua Taino is a sales representative from, from Port Moresby. Miss Paraguay. Is Maria Jose Miranda. She's a student from Asunção. Miss Peru. This is Martha Kayak. She's a psychology student and she lives in Lima. Miss Philippines. Is Dana Navadev and she's a student from Manila. Miss Poland. This is Joanna Kapinska. She's a student and she comes from the Shekin. Miss Portugal is Helena Loreano, and she's a model who hails from Sisimbra. Miss St. Kitts and Nevis. Haley Cassius is a clerk, and she lives in Utah. And Miss Sierra Leone is Tewila Ojukutu, and she's a receptionist from Freetown. Miss Singapore. That's Sarah Teo. She's an auditor, and of course she lives in Singapore. Miss Spain is Susana de la Llave, and she's a public relations officer who comes from Figueras. Miss Sri Lanka, Michelle Coilmea is a student, and she comes from Colombo. Miss Swaziland, Pandeka Magagula is a student, and she comes from Manzini. Miss Sweden. This is Cecilia Horberg. She's a model and she lives in Gothenburg. And Miss Switzerland. Is Karina Berger and she's a photographic model who comes from Zurich. Miss Thailand. Thabi Bon Hunslip is a student 
and she lives in Bangkok. Miss Trinidad and Tobago is Wendy J.Q. Baptiste, and she's a student from Aruka. Miss Republic of Turkey. This is Ezra Suma. She's a model, and she comes from Istanbul. Miss Turks and Caicos is Doreen Dickinson, and she's a secretary who comes from Palm Grove. Miss Uganda. Nazma Yamo Mohammed is a trainee secretary, and she lives in Entebbe. Miss United Kingdom is Kirsty Roper, and she's a student who hails from Staffordshire. Miss United States of America. This is Diana Magana. She's a student, and she comes from Palos Verdes. Miss Uruguay is Giselle Silva, and she's a student who comes from Montevideo. Miss Venezuela is Emma Rabe. She's a model, and she lives in La Guira. Miss Western Samoa is Noa Noa Hill, and she's a student who hails from Apia. And finally, Miss Yugoslavia. Susanna Zunica is a student, and she lives in Split. for the evening, Peter Marshall and Alexandra Bastido. Thank you very much indeed, and a very big welcome to the Royal Albert Hall in London for the 38th Miss World Contest. Yes, tonight London welcomes the world's representatives of international beauty and we in turn welcome all those viewers from overseas who are with us tonight. Bienvenidos, bienvenue, benvenuti, willkommen and yolkoso. Chinese? Japanese. Ah, so. Believe it or not, you've already seen the girl who will wear the Miss World crown because Miss World 1988 is amongst this constellation of 84 lovelies who've flown in from all five continents to be with us. From the East and from the West, from the First and Third Worlds, they are all here tonight to vie for the most prestigious title in international beauty, the Miss World Crown, and the top shop trophies that go with that title. Our guest artists are also from opposite sides of the world, from Korea, that hit group from the Seoul Olympics, Koreana, and from the United States of America, Donny Osmond. Yes, indeed. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, it's a very popular choice. Well, of course, apart from crowning uh, Miss World, our judges will also be choosing the most beautiful girl from each continent, thereby electing our five continental queens of beauty. But their most important task here tonight is to select ten girls to go through to our semi-final round, then five finalists from whom Miss World will be chosen. Now, one of the judges will represent you, the viewers, because by means of your telephone votes, your choice of the semi-finalist to be Miss World will be recorded. To help us find the winner, we've brought in a computer. It doesn't exactly judge, but it does help us to monitor the judges' scores, which, in the first round, we will share with you. Now, each of the 84 contestants can be awarded four, three, or two points by each of our nine judges, giving them a maximum of 36 or a minimum of 18 points, which means that our 10 highest-placed girls will obviously become our 10 semi-finalists. You now have the opportunity to briefly assess the 84 contestants and to look for your particular favorite because we're going to ask you, the UK viewers, to join with us in selecting the new Miss World from the 10 semi-finalists picked by our judges and whose first round marks will appear on your screen. Yes, it's back to the Costa del Sol for the swimwear section. And it's a warm welcome to all of our contestants. Well, 
here's Kathy May sit around. She is Miss American Virgin Islands. This is Puerto Bonus. And here's Gabriela Madeira, Miss Argentina. On the beach, it's Catherine Bushel. She's Miss Australia. Alexandra Verbanschitz is Miss Austria. And here's Natasha Rohr. She's Miss Bahamas. Farida Kula is Miss Barbados. And Daisy van Kavenberg, she's Miss Belgium. Golf and beauty contestants? Well, why not? Here's Pauline Young. Miss Belize. Sophia Cannonier is Miss Bermuda. And all at sea you'll find Claudia Nazar, Miss Bolivia. Nelda Farrington is Miss British Virgin Islands. This is Sonia Vasileva. Miss Bulgaria. And here's Morgan Fox. She's Miss Canada. This is Melissa McTaggart. She's Miss Cayman Islands. Maria Aldunate is Miss Chile. And this is Yi Ning Wu. She's Miss China, Taiwan. Here's Jasmine Oliveros. She's Miss Colombia. And Annie Whitmore is Miss Cook Islands. Virginia Steinborth is Miss Costa Rica. And Anushka Kova, well, she's Miss Curacao. This is Aphrodite Theophilus. She's Miss Cyprus. Suzanne Johansson is Miss Denmark. And Maria Martinez is Miss Dominican Republic. This is Cristina Lopez, Miss Ecuador. And Dina El Naga is Miss Egypt. Well, here you have Carla Hasbro. She's Miss El Salvador. And Nina Anderson is Miss Finland. Claudia Frittolini is Miss France. And this is Katja Munch, Miss Germany. Zitsu Amoa is Miss Ghana. And Tatiana de Souza is Miss Gibraltar. This is Ariadne Mailona. She's Miss Greece. And here's Rita May Pangalinan, Miss Guam. Mariluz Aguila is Miss Guatemala. And this is Christina Jardim. Miss Guyana. This is Angela Vizzo. She's Miss Holland. And Alina Diaz is Miss Honduras. Now it's Michelle Rees, Miss Hong Kong. And this is Linda Perter's daughter, Miss Iceland. Now we have Anharadha Couture, Miss India. And this is Colette Jackson, Miss Ireland. Victoria O'Day is Miss Isle of Man. 
and Janet Korn is Miss Israel. Here's Julia Gemma. She's Miss Italy. And this is Andrea Haynes, Miss Jamaica. Kazumi Sakikubo is Miss Japan. And Diana Naylor is Miss Kenya. Here's Yong Hee Choi. She's Miss Republic of Korea. And Sylvana Samaha is Miss Lebanon. This is Oli Watt. She's Miss Liberia. And Chantal Shanbacher is Miss Luxembourg. Here's Helena Lovranco, Miss Macau. And Su Choi Fun Wong is Miss Malaysia. This is Josette Camilleri, Miss Malta. And here's Veronique Ash, Miss Mauritius. This is Cecilia Cervera, Miss Mexico. And here's Lisa Corban, Miss New Zealand. Omasan Buwa is Miss Nigeria. This is Rita Paulson. She's Miss Norway. And here's Arue Tono, Miss Papua New Guinea. Maria Jose Miranda is Miss Paraguay. Martha Kayak is Miss Peru. And Dana Navarez is Miss Philippines. This is Joanna Kapitska, Miss Poland. And Helena Loriano is Miss Portugal. This is Haley Cassius. She's Miss St. Kitts and Nevis. And Tewila Ojukutu is Miss Sierra Leone. This is Sarah Teo. She's Miss Singapore. This is Susanna de la Lave. She's Miss Spain. Michelle Colmeyer is Miss Sri Lanka. Tandeka Magagula is Miss Swaziland. Here's Cecilia Horberg. She is Miss Sweden. Karina Berger is Miss Switzerland. This is Thabi Porn Hunslip. She's Miss Thailand. And Wendy Baptiste is Miss Trinidad and Tobago. This is Ezra Suma. She's Miss Republic of Turkey. And here's Doreen Dickinson, Miss Turks and Caicos. Nazma Yamal Mohammed is Miss Uganda. And Kirsty Roper is Miss United Kingdom. This is Diana Magana, Miss United States of America. And here's Giselle Silva. She's Miss Uruguay. Emma Rabe is Miss Venezuela. And Noah Noah Hill is Miss Western Samoa. And finally, Susanna Zunich is Miss Yugoslavia. And those are all of the Miss World contestants. Well, 84 of the world's most beautiful girls.
In a few minutes' time, you'll be meeting our judges, and based upon their marks, sadly, only ten girls can go through to our semi-final round. But this is where you at home come in. Please have pencil and paper ready, because I'm sure you've sat there year after year and thought, well, I could still pick this world. Tonight, it's your chance, because as each of our semi-finalists is individually announced, a telephone number will appear on your screen. I'll give you the number. It's 0898 991 and that will be followed by the contestant's number. One, obviously, two, three, right up to ten, but number ten is denoted by a zero, okay? That will give you the full telephone number to dial. So please, make your choice. Note the number and dial whenever you're ready to register your vote. Now, when your telephone call is answered, no need to speak or to hold on. And believe me, in the next half hour, there'll be plenty of opportunity to view our lovely ladies. But now, ladies and gentlemen, the 10 Miss World semi-finalists. Miss Australia! Is Catherine Bushell. Miss Austria! Is Alexandra Verbanchitz? Miss Iceland! Is Linda Petterstadt here? Korea is Yeon Hae Choi. Miss Norway is Rita Paulson. Miss Sweden is Cecilia Corbett. Miss United Kingdom. States of America is Diana Magana. And finally, our last semi finalist, Miss Venezuela. Yes, they all look like winners to me. Well, now it's time to meet our panel of judges. The destiny of the Miss World Crown and the prizes totaling £30,000 that go with it is entirely in their hands. Judge number one, President of the Tourist Promotion Board of Costa del Sol, Angelo Carrazzo. <laughs> Judge number two was medical student Rita Perea when she became Miss World in 1966. It's a pleasure to welcome back Dr. Rita Powell. 
judge number three, chairman of the Kimber Group of hairdressing companies, hairdresser extraordinaire, James Kimber. Judge number four, former Miss Kenya and Queen of Beauty, now top fashion model, Khadija. Judge number five and chairman of the panel who will register your telephone votes, Eric Morley. Well, judge number six was responsible for the fabulous wedding dress of the Duchess of York, top dress designer, Linka Chirak. Judge number seven, promotion director of the Burton Group, Richard Birchnell. Judge number eight, Miss World in 1980, Kimberly Santos. And judge number nine, managing director of Walters International Computers, Rob Brandt. The judges now have the opportunity to assess the character and personality of each of our semi-finalists as they parade in their own choice of evening wear and talk to Peter and myself. We'll be reminding you of that all-important telephone number if you wish to record your vote. And remember, only one vote, and the old marks will not be carried forward. So starting with a clean slate, please welcome the first of our ten semi-finalists. And that is Miss Australia. I'm saying good day to Catherine Bushell. Catherine, you can trace your ancestry right back to the beginning, can't you? That's right. Being Australia's bicentennial year, it's very exciting because our family is a first fleet family. So it's very exciting in Australia at the moment. So in fact, it's, it's fair to say you come from rogues and vagabonds, yeah? <laughs> no, not quite. No, we come from a teacher who actually taught the convicts. So we're not quite with the convicts. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for Miss Australia. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Austria, Alexandra Verdanci. <laughs> Alexandra, I believe you're very talented musically and in fact you're attending the uh, gymnasium for music in Graz. When did you first find out you were talented and what are you playing? What, what, how are you talented musically? Um, now I found out uh, that I uh, have a talent in music uh, in my childhood, you know. My father is a musician, the father Lyons is a musician, and it should be logical that I'm a musician too, but uh, I fight against, but I lost the fight, and I love the music, and I want to become a musician. Thank you very much, Miss Austria. Now our third semi-finalist, Miss Iceland. Daughter, tell me what you do in Iceland. I'm a student. And what are you studying and why? I study languages, uh, Icelandic, English, Danish, German, and I just started to take French. And what would you like to do when you've, you've finished your studies? Uh, I'm not sure, but I would probably like to be a translator. Well, this is good experience because you're meeting lots of girls and we're meeting you. Thank you very much indeed, Miss Iceland. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Korea, Yeon Hae Choi. Fortunately for me, Yeon does actually speak English. <laughs> Yeon, what were you doing before you won Miss Korea? Oh, uh, yeah, um, now I'm a uh, university student and senior, yes. And you said to me you were very busy as Miss Korea. What have you been doing? Um, for one year, I worked in, 
on TV program. Um, sports uh, reporter, and before I came here, also I'm working um, singing programs presenter. Yes. Very good, and a sports commentator too. Thank you very much, Miss Korea. <laughs> Fifth semi finals, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Norway. Rita Paulson, you have a very definite dream, haven't you? Ah, uh, yes, I do. I want to be an actress. Why is that? Is there anyone you particularly admire, perhaps? Well, yes, I do admire Michael J. Fox, I do. <laughs> Right, but you're not going to model yourself on him. Now, tell me what else you do. Well, for the two last years, I have been studying in San Diego, California. And besides that, I do some modeling, and I have been doing some acting. And... In fact, you've been quite a busy lady. We haven't got any more time to talk, but thank you very much indeed. Miss Norway. <laughs> Susanna, what are you doing at the moment? ¿Qué cosa está haciendo en este momento y cómo trabajo? Trabajo de relaciones públicas en un casino y de vez en cuando como modelo. She's studying to be, uh, she, sorry, she's working in public relations in a casino and is hoping to be a model. Y a los años 50, when you're 50, ¿qué, qué cosa será? ¿Cómo? A los años 50, cuando, no, cuando tienes 50 años de edad, ¿qué, qué harás? Quiero prepararme como mujer, en, con mucho espíritu, con muchas ganas, y ser una gran madre. She wants to prepare herself in every aspect as a woman and to be a good mother. Gracias, Susana. Thank you, Miss Faye. Please greet our next semi-finalist, Miss Sweden. Cecilia, you lead a very glamorous life, don't you? No, not really. Why? You're a model. No, that's not that glamorous. Really? You think not? No, I don't think so. It's a lot of work and there's many things behind that people don't think about. Very hard work. But am I right in thinking you'd like to change your life and do something else? Yes. I'm going to start in one or two years to continue my studies in economics. Really? You want to be a businesswoman? Yes. I'm sure you'll succeed. Thank you very much indeed. Let's hear it for Miss Sweden. Miss United Kingdom, Kirsty Roper. Kirsty, you won Miss United Kingdom in August. What have you been doing since then? I've been kept very busy. It's been fantastic. I've been going all around the UK and I've done quite a bit of charity work and most of all, I've really enjoyed myself. And have you had any time for singing? Because as I understand it, you're quite a talented singer. Well, yes, I have. I took part in the talent competition. I don't think I'm quite up to Whitney Houston standards, but I'd like to further a career in singing. Thank you very much, Kirsty Roper. Miss United Kingdom. Our penultimate semi final is Miss United States of America.
visit uh, Diana Magana as a student studying what and why, Diana? I'm studying communications with a minor in business. I'm majoring in public relations because I've been fortunate enough to work with some American and Japanese uh, companies who want to promote their products within the Hispanic community. I speak Spanish, so therefore I was fortunate en enough to do that. That's one of you also. You, you study in L.A., yeah. Yes, I study at the University of Southern California in downtown Los Angeles. It's not as violent a place as we think, is it? Oh, no, not at all. No, no. There's very, very many friendly people, and as long as you're a student and stay within your surroundings, you're safe. We're glad you're here tonight. Thank you. Miss United States of America. <laughs> Emma, you're a student. What are you studying at the moment? Estoy estudiando medicina. Quisiera ser una buena pediatra en el futuro. She's studying medicine, and she does actually speak English, but she's not going to this evening. Try and speak in English. Um, y después, ¿qué cosa quieres hacer? What do you want to do later? You want me to speak in English? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Well, as you say, I want to be a good pediatrician in my future because I like the children. I do a volunteer work for the National Nutritional Institute. And it's the thing that I like to do. And you have to do everything that you like to do in the future. Thank you very much, Miss Venezuela. <laughs> Well, just one more parade of our ten semi-finalists to go, but if you've already made your mind up, you can register your vote now. Well, now it's time to welcome an extra special guest this evening. Believe it or not, he's been in television for about 25 years, and he, he looks even younger, a bit like myself. He's got a brand new single out. You'll love it. It's called If It's Love That You Want. It's zooming up the charts. The album is to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome for American singing star, Donny Osmond. <laughs>
Thank you very much, Donny Osmond. Now you still have time to vote for your particular favorite, but remember poise and personality as well as beauty are all essential ingredients for any potential Miss World. Now with the judges looking for just five finalists, it's time to continue with the swimwear parade. Now please welcome first semi-finalist Miss Australia. Yes, this is Catherine Bushell. She's 21 years of age and 5 feet 8 inches tall. I can tell you that Catherine is a fashion model and she comes from Sydney. This is Catherine Bushell. She is Miss Australia. Please welcome Miss Austria. In the shape of Alexandra Revanchit, 21 years of age. Well, Alexandra is 5 feet 8 inches tall, and she's studying at Music High School. Hometown of Graz, this is Alexandra Revanchit, she is Miss Austria. Let's sing hello to Miss Iceland. This is Linda Petter's daughter, and she's 18 years of age and 5 feet 7 inches tall. Well, Linda can say hello in lots of languages. She's a student of them. And Vopnav Yada is where she's from. This is Linda Petter's daughter, Miss Iceland. Let's hear it for Miss Republic of Korea. Here's Yong Hee Choi, she's 22 years of age and 5 feet 7 inches in height. Well, she's a sports commentator, hometown is Seoul. Yong Hee Choi is Miss Republic of Korea. Please welcome Miss Norway. Here's uh, Rita Paulson, 21 years old, 5 feet 8 inches tall. Studying business, she tells me, and comes from Marvol near Oslo. Here's Rita Paulson, she is Miss Norway. Will you please welcome Miss Spain? Well, Susanna Villalave is 19 years of age and 5 feet 9 inches in height. She works in public relations and uh, Figueras is where she comes from. This is Susanna Villalave. She is Miss Spain. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sweden. Cecilia Horber, 22 years old, 5 feet 9 inches tall, and Cecilia is a model. Her hometown is Gothenburg, by the way. This is Cecilia Horberg. She is Miss Sweden. Will you welcome Miss United Kingdom? Kirsty Roper, just 17 years old and 5 feet 5 inches tall. She's a student and Kirsty's from Staffordshire. This is Kirsty Roper, she is Miss United Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss United States of America. Yes, here's Diana Magana, 23 years old, 5 feet 10 inches tall. Well, Diana is a student and she comes from Palos Verdes. This is Diana Magana, Miss United States of America. And finally, welcome Miss Venezuela.
Emma Rabbe, 19 years old, 5 feet 9 inches tall. Emma, by the way, is a model. She's from La Guerra. Well, here we are, final look then at Miss Venezuela. An appropriate moment to gather all of our 10 semi-finalists. So, ladies, if you please. International beauties, just five will be chosen for the final round. Now, your telephone vote could have an effect upon that decision. The lines are closing now, so if you haven't voted yet, please do so. We'll be back in just a few moments to announce those finalists. We've the singing sensation of the Seoul Olympics, Koreana, singing the great hit hand on hand, and of course, the crowning of the new Miss World. Stay with us. Now, there is another side to the Miss World organization. It has a theme, a very simple theme, beauty with a purpose. And that purpose is to raise as much money as possible with the help of Variety Club for children's charities, and in particular for underprivileged children around the world. We're now going to meet two ambassadors who travel many, many thousands of miles for that cause. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please greet Miss World 1987, Ulla Weigestoffer and International President, Julia Morley. <laughs> Julia and Ulla, I understand you've had a very exciting year traveling around the world on behalf of Beauty With A Purpose. Can you tell me about some of the highlights? There have been many, but one particular one for me was in Guatemala to see the people there building their first hospital for children. And of course, Poland, I'll never forget the wonderful welcome we had. But I know Ulla has some marvelous memories too. Ulla, what's your favorite moment or moment? Well, probably one of the most exciting moments uh, for me was the children party in Taipei. We had a big, big party with about a thousand children um, without parents. Um, and it will ever be in my mind. It was marvelous. Very rewarding work. And what have you got lined up for the new Miss World, Julia? Oh, a lot. She's going to visit the African continent. We're going across India. We'll be visiting many, many parts, Australia, and of course, Central Americas. And whoever wins will have to have a lot of stamina and a lot of discipline. And Ulla, what advice do you have for the new Miss World? I think the best thing is she should enjoy it as much as I did, and I wish her all the best. Thank you very much, Ulla Weigerstorfer. The Please, will you all show your appreciation for the reigning Miss World? <laughs> Well, while we've been learning something of the role the Numerous World will have to play, our judges, in conjunction with the computer, have been confirming the five finalists. Now, your final telephone votes will appear with each of the contestants as they parade, so it'll become apparent fairly quickly who you, the viewers, think should be Miss World, but I wonder how that choice will fare with our judges. Well, we're going to meet the girls once more and set them a very simple task. In about 20 seconds or thereabout, we'd like them to tell us something about their countries. I know that Alex, there she is on hand, to help me out. I'll probably need help. Will you please welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, the first finalist tonight, who is Miss Republic of Korea. <laughs> Come and join me, Yon. Yon Hee Choi. Yon, tell me a little about the Republic of Korea. Um, yeah. I want to see you um, beautiful mountains and natural mountains and delicious food and clear and very tidy and sweet. <laughs> yes, and families, relationships. I want to see you. Well, you've said enough, I think. I'm going. Thank you very much indeed. Miss Korea. Come on, let's hear it. Our next finalist, ladies and gentlemen, Miss United Kingdom.
Kirsty Roper of Staffordshire last, but let's tell the world about the United Kingdom. Um, well, to anybody visiting the UK, I think London Town is a must because of its magnificent architectural heritage and also the entertainment. Um, I just hope it doesn't rain. You and me both. Thank you very much indeed, Miss United Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, third finalist, Miss Venezuela. <laughs> Emma Rabe, in English this time, Emma, tell me all about lovely Venezuela. Well, everybody knows that Venezuela has a beautiful beaches, but I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about something that's very important, very interesting for my country. We have a lot of theater and museum. We have a children's museum with the, where the children can play and learn at the same time. But you only have to remember something, but that Venezuela is a country to love. That's the one. You're right. Thank you. Miss Venezuela. Thanks, Emma. Ladies and gentlemen, just two more to go. Our next finalist, Miss Iceland. <laughs> Linda Petustoda, tell me a little about Iceland, Linda. Well, uh, first of all, Iceland is a really healthy country. The air is very clean and the country itself. And we have the best fish in the world. And we have a president that we are re really proud of. She's the first woman in the world to become a president. Of, I mean, a woman. <laughs> and... Um, I think you've said enough. I think you've convinced <laughs> us. Thank you very much indeed, Miss Iceland. Thank you. <laughs> and now with Alex in hand, our last finalist, Miss Spain. En pocas frases, ¿cómo es España? España es muy rica en cultura y en historia y yo recomendaría que vinieran a visitar Es Costa del Sol porque para mí es muy grato que mis compañeras hayan compartido mi alegría en visitar esta tierra. Uh, she said it's full of beautiful monuments and historical things, but also it's full of alegría and she thinks you should all come over and find out about it. Thank you very much, Miss Spain. And we wish them all the very best of luck. Some months ago, four singers shared one of their nation's proudest moments when they sang their magnificent song hand in hand for the Seoul Olympics in Korea. They are now an international group going from strength to strength and they've flown over here tonight especially to sing it for us. They are Kathy Lee, Mary Hong, Tommy Lee and Jerry Lee, Koreana.
Yes, the fabulous sound of Coriana from the great success in the Seoul Olympics and now here tonight with a very fitting song indeed. Well, believe it or not, the results are now to hand. We started off with 84 lovely contestants. We came right down to the five finalists. Let me remind you again, they were Miss Korea, Miss United Kingdom, Miss Venezuela, Miss Iceland and Miss Spain. And now the world awaits the new Miss World. But firstly, to present the prizes on behalf of Topshop, please welcome Julia Morley. <laughs> Well, sadly, Alex, it's time for you and I to go. Bukachi. You're doing it to me again. What does that mean, Bukachi? Chinese, for it's been a pleasure. Yep, it certainly has been a pleasure. But now, let's turn our attention to the man with all of the answers, chairman of the panel, ladies and gentlemen, Eric Morley. Here are the five continental queens of beauty. Africa's queen of beauty is Miss Kenya. of the Americas is Miss Venezuela. Asia's Queen of Beauty is Miss Korea. Europe's 
Queen of Beauty is Miss Iceland. <laughs> Oceana's Queen of Beauty is Miss Australia. Gentlemen, the five continental queens of beauty. I shall now announce the results in reverse order. The second runner up is Miss United Kingdom. Well, that's uh, Kirsty Roper. She'll leave tonight with a check for £1,000. Second runner up to Miss World. First runner-up is Miss Korea. Well, that's Young Hee Choi. Just kept at the post tonight, but there's consolation with a check for £2,000. And Miss World 1988 is... girl in the world tonight. She is the scepter, she has the crown, prizes totaling £30,000 and of course the world at her feet, Linda Petter's daughter. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Iceland is Miss World 1988.